Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Kiki. So in today's video, we're going to be doing a curly crochet install featuring Trendy Trust's Serene Curl. So if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. So for the things that you will need, you will need your crochet hook and you will need your hair. The hair that I'm using today is the Trendy Trusted Serene Curls and I have it in a color 1B and it is 12 inches. And if you look on the back of the pack, it tells you how many um, packs that they recommend as well as all the care instructions and just everything you need, which is super handy. And here's a shot of the hair. It is super bouncy y'all and it is so soft. And I just can't wait to put this in my hair. I'm so excited. <laughs> so moving on to our braid pattern, I have two cornrows going straight back on each side. And you can see in the front um, how I did the hair because I did want to do a bang. And then I wanted to be flat on the top. So I did make an area so I can do an invisible knot method at the top and still kind of maintain a little middle part so that it's flat. And then here is the back. I just braided all the hair, um, the ends into the hair, and then I'm just tucking the last end um, into the braids. So now let's begin to crochet. So first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna take your latch hook and you are going to open it. And then you are going to take it and put it inside of the braid. And then you're just gonna take your piece of hair, you are going to insert it into the latch. I know it's kind of hard to see, I will get better shots of it later for you. And then you're just gonna close it, pull the hair through, and then you are going to knot it. Now the hair was really soft, so I did end up knotting it three times, and you'll see sometimes I did knot it twice as well, but just knot it as many times as you feel you need to to make it feel secure but i would definitely recommend at least two times for this hair so as you can see um this hair is going to get big really fast so to space it out i just use my finger as a guide and then at the tip of my finger that's where i put um the next piece of hair but you will see me do it as i um continue to crochet so yeah I'm just going to speed this up a little bit after this one and I will be back for the next step.
All right, so now that we've reached the top of our head, we are going to do the invisible knot method. So you're just gonna follow the same steps. You're gonna put the hair in the latch hook, close it, pull the hair through. But this time, instead of putting both um, pieces of hair through the knot, you're going to only put one and you're gonna pull it and pull the hair over. So I'm gonna show you that again. I'm gonna put the needle through put the hair on the latch hook, close the latch hook, um, and I'm gonna take one piece of hair and pull it through. And this just creates the illusion that um, the hair is coming out of your scalp. So now we've reached the bang area so for the front first braid I'm going to cut the hair in half and then I'm just going to knot it regularly. And for the second top braid, I'm going to leave the hair long because um, I want it to reach as long as I want and I want to be in control of the length. Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave that one long. But here I'm going to do the invisible knot method um, so that I can try to kind of camouflage and um, hide the knot. So now that we are done installing all the hair, um, we're just going to trim it up a bit. So I'm sorry I didn't get like the best angles of um, me showing you cutting the hair. But pretty much all I do is I just clip the bangs to my liking and then I just even the hair out at the bottom. So any little straggly pieces I saw, um, I just clipped those off and then I kind of added... Um, I cut a little bit to kind of frame my face and yeah and then that's it.
all right so once i'm done cutting the hair i'm just gonna take some mousse you guys you can use any mousse you like i'm using the olive oil set mousse um and i'm just gonna kind of try to tame the frizz that i've created <laughs> a little bit so this is the finished look let me know what you guys think um i love it i love a bang and i love some big curly hair honey so i ended up using five packs of the trendy tresses serene curl i had one piece left of the fifth pack but i do have a big head so you may not need as many packs as i did but i needed five um and i also did do this really big if you want to do it um less dense you could probably get away with four packs so i love this hair it is like the perfect perm rod kind of bouncy curl kind of situation going on um it is extremely soft so i did end up knotting it three or two times it depended on where i was at and how i was feeling but minimum two times make sure you guys are knotting it so it does not slip out so yeah thank you so so much to trendy tresses for sending me this hair i love it um i hope you guys love it too i will make sure to leave all of trendy tresses information down below in the description box so make sure you guys check them out so yeah that is the ending of this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already thank you so so much for watching you guys i really do appreciate all of you and until next time take care be safe and i will see you in my next video bye